All right, so here I am. I just uh, downloaded. Uh, I just downloaded my cheat sheet generator, uh, and I bought the cheat sheet empire from Alessandro Zamboni. So when he came out with the cheat sheet generator, I really wanted to get it because I thought it would be really sweet to kind of automate the process of creating these cheat sheets. I think they make great bonuses for products. Uh, as an affiliate marketer, I think they make great bonuses and. Uh, I just, I just thought it would be very useful. So I wanted to get the generator. So I just got it and I just uh, downloaded it here. Um, I want to uh, show. It's funny because like the first couple times I downloaded this, actually, let me just X out of that. Download software now. Look at that. See, see that? I downloaded it and it says the one page zip is not commonly downloaded and may be dangerous so I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not going to discard it but I gotta tell you as an affiliate like someone who wants to promote this course man this is a red flag for me because I can't it's hard for me to promote a product that's gonna do this a lot of people I'll send to this product and when they buy it and they get this they're gonna be like whoa what the heck and they're gonna discard it and they're gonna ask for a refund that's what's gonna happen so I, it really discourages me that this is like this and I'm gonna keep it um, and I'm gonna show in folder and now I got my Windows Defender is saying found some malware Windows Defender is removing it uh, what is happening so this is the kind of stuff that's happened that bugs me. So, history, quarantined items. Okay. So this is the uh, this is the detected item. I'm guessing. Four forty three. This is four thirty seven. Four thirty six first time I tried to download this is what happened and I decided I want to do a little screen capture and show you guys what was happening the program could not find the malware and other potentially unwanted software on this computer so alright so basically what I gotta do um, is I gotta allow items alright All right, so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try again. Let's try again. Let's keep it. All right, there it is. All right, antivirus warning. So the people who download this, if they can get it, like if they get this far, as far as I got, it'll take a leap of faith, right? A lot of them are not probably going to get this far. That's a problem. Your antivirus program may not recognize the software and give you a false virus warning. If so, it's a false pause, which is note that your computer, the software contains a built-in functionality called Go Home, Call Home, Verify Software Registration. Plus, it requires an open internet connection that you'll be able to watch videos. The antivirus program may be set to suspicious of any new executable programs it doesn't recognize. You can add this software to your exception list. Allow program antivirus. You're absolutely safe, guaranteed. The problem is with a new person picking this program up, they're not going to go for you are absolutely safe, guaranteed. Some of them might, but a lot of them won't. A lot of them will be like, yo, I don't trust this guy. I don't know what's going on here. I'm deleting all this stuff and getting a refund. You know, because people get freaked out about viruses and stuff, man. So it's, it's not a good thing. It's a bad thing. So anyways, that's a problem. Anyways, let's go ahead and start this thing up. Extract. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what happens. All right, there it is. It's like uh, 
it's installed. So here it is. So it, it's funny. It's like it's installed, and it's just an application here. It looks like. So let's go ahead and when I try to open it, Windows protected your PC. Windows Defender smart screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Run this app it might put your PC at risk. More info. Let's run anyway. See, here's another red flag. All right, so this might, you know, keep a lot of people from opening it up. You know, when their virus stuff starts going off, it might make them upset. So I, I don't know. So I really wanted to use this. I think it would be really cool. But, you know, as far as promoting it, it might be difficult because there's a lot of little red flags. Okay, now I got some stuff here. All right, cool. All right, let me go ahead and uh, pause this video, guys. I'm going to enter my registration key. I don't know what my registration key is right now. I'm going to have to look on the download page or check my email. I'm guessing it. If you're asked to enter it every time you start, it's because the permissions given to this program are not high enough. Try clicking the program icon and choose Run as Administrator. Okay. All right, so that's fine. Some people who do this kind of stuff aren't even going to know how to do that. So that's a problem, too. Uh, and then they're going to have to enter this crap in every time. <laughs> it's going to be a pain in the butt. But that's okay. Whatever. Let me go ahead and pause this video, find this information, and I'll tell you guys wherever I found it. Okay, so the answer for the registration code is in this little readme file. When you open the software the first time, you have to enter a registration code. In case you didn't request it yet, you have to click the button, don't have a key, which redirects you to the form. Okay, now I've went ahead and I entered the key, and now I'm at this screen right here. Let me close some of these windows so you guys can uh, kind of get a better feel for what's going on. Okay, so here I am. Here's my uh, page generator. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of some of this stuff. Um, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Let me just get rid of some of this stuff. Boom. Let's get, let's, just, let's get rid of some of this stuff, man. You know what I mean? Seriously. All right. All right. Business name. Enter your business name. All right, let's do it. All right. All right. Enter your details above. One cheat sheet. The name you enter will be shown at the bottom of the cheat sheet in the copyright section. Perfect. Now it looks like we got a little thing here that says upgrade to deluxe version. I have to admit, I'm in kind of a bad mood about this whole thing just because I'm like seven, eight minutes into this and like I just not figured out how to get to the actual software because of all that virus stuff. Now, you know, I've had a lot of dealings with Alessandro. Uh, I don't know who Dirk is, but I know Alessandro and I know he's a trustworthy guy and, and I'm, I'm willing to take some shot chances and some shots because I know him and I know this is cool. But I don't. I can't guarantee that anybody I send to the sales page is going to feel the same way. So that's the problem. Anyways, that's where I'm at now. I think the reason why my computer finally was okay with it is because I had to go into my Windows Defender and I had to list that Trojan as being okay. I had to list it as okay, which is kind of what the little README file said to do. But still, it makes you feel kind of kind of funky. Anyways. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to uh, put my name down, all right? Cool. Okay. Now the next is saying your niche, all right? You have to add your niche. Here you have you have add a niche to cheat sheet should be created for. Please use capital letters, weight loss, marketing, diet, doctors. Um, okay. We're going to go affiliate marketing, all right? All right. And browse for folder, destination for creation. All right, cool. All right, let's just put this, uh, let's make a new folder in here. How about that? Make a new folder. Cheat. <laughs> All right, rename cheat sheet example. 
call it cheat sheet example, okay? Okay, all right, cool. Finished. Wow, that's all I had to do? What, what am I, <laughs> what am I look, what is happening here? I don't, I don't understand. Let's see, Let's see the cheat sheet. Okay, this cheat sheet is a time saver which allows you to more effectively research affiliate marketing. Uh, you can become an expert on it. Okay, that's interesting. All I had to do was enter in a keyword and it created this cheat sheet for me. It's a one page cheat sheet, I guess. And, and it, this is an HTML file. So, okay, so that's interesting. So, what I have to do. Um, so apparently there was a, uh, if, I, if I look back in my, uh, uh, if I look back in one of those files, they have an HTML link to get to an online HTML to PDF converter. But um, I think I can just, I can just find that. I'm pretty sure it should be pretty easy. Okay. Let's just. <laughs> Let's find this file here. Cheat sheet example. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Very cool. I got it. Got my uh, uh, cut this, put it on my cheat sheet example. See what see what I got here. Here's the PDF version of it. All right, so here's what it looks like as a PDF. So apparently, I think the niche that you put in there is is what your cheat sheet is going to be about. So if I say latest affiliate marketing news on social media and news, I go like Google News. If I click on that, let's just see what happens here. Okay, so I get affiliate marketing and I get I get some stuff. Alright, so that alright, that's alright. Interesting information on affiliate marketing. So this is just search engine stuff. Um, for some reason these links right here aren't work. That first link didn't work. Uh, affiliate marketing. So simply just search results on Bang. Um, okay. And then Yahoo affiliate marketing. Interesting information on affiliate marketing. Latest news. This first one doesn't work. Google News, it doesn't even work. What about the Twitter thing? I just... I don't know. It's just not... Top selling products on affiliate marketing. If I go to AliExpress, one of the top selling products on affiliate marketing is, you know, factory city street European market model building block set. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about all this stuff. More popular. Uh, I don't like this. This is not very good. <laughs> this is not very good. Uh, let's try this again. I, I think that. Okay, so what what is this proof so far? I think what this proof so far is um, I think what this proof so far is you know 
you're going to have to be careful what you type in here. Or it's not going to be very good results. I typed in affiliate marketing and it, it just wasn't very good results. I mean, it was just like a bunch of search engine results, basically. You know, I don't, I don't feel like that's worth $17. This isn't worth 17 bucks. I don't feel like this is worth 17 bucks. I mean, to me, I just don't see it. I mean, no offense against anybody. Uh, personally, I'm just not feeling it. Um, if, if I go, uh, what if I just go like, um, I mean, you guys know what it's going to be. Whatever I type in, that's going to be like, it's going to be searched in quotations and all these different places. So, I mean, it's like, if I, if I, I, I got to, um, you know, uh, I got to type in uh, something like, uh, uh, let's say uh, Mandela Effect. All right, I type in that, create cheat sheet. I go cheat sheet example, do it in the same place. I mean, it's so cool that it, it does it so fast, but it's just, it's just not very good. Okay, that's the affiliate marketing one there. That's not, there it is. So there's my, and I just want to see, here's another example of the cheat sheet. Oh, this time it actually pulled something up on the Google News. It's just search engine results. It's not really, I don't think it's really that great. I mean, honestly, not with all the freaking, not with all the, what's this? All right. Is the Facebook thing broken on my other one? Yeah, the Facebook thing's broken. What if I, um, I'm already logged into Facebook, I think. Let me log in for you guys. Okay, so I just logged into Facebook. I want to come back to my cheat sheet. I want to see if this Facebook thing works when I'm logged in. And yeah, it does look like it's worked. Oh wow, look who showed up. <laughs> That's interesting. Stuff from me. Oh, that's good. So the Facebook thing works. Um, I don't know, guys. Here's what it is. That's what it is. Um, it's a cheat sheet. It's a time saver, which allows you to more effectively research Mandela Effect, and you can become an expert on it. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's all right. I see copyright at Epic Conversions. So I think down here, you need to put the year down here if you want uh, to make it look a little bit more official. So like if we do this again, we'll go all the way back to here. Actually, let me just like that. And then uh, let me just, okay. And then uh, I think let's try this uh, UFC podcasts something like that or uh, how about this uh, yeah let's leave it like that let's see what happens okay all right so UFC podcasts cheat sheet all right so cool um. What do we got? UFC podcast for the win. Okay. So it is what it is. It is what it is. It's it's a bunch of links to different stuff. I mean, I guess it could save you some time. I guess it could save you some time. And there, there's how I was talking about, guys. Copyright 2017 Epic Versions. So, I don't know. Um, it's all right. I'm not super impressed. I'm not super impressed. I feel a little... Ugh. I don't like it. I'm not going to promote this. Anyways, it could it could help some people. Um, I don't know. I You know, I, I think that this is one of those situations where... You just can't leave everything in the hands of a piece of software. 
um, the results aren't that great. So personally, I think if you had the right keyword, you could do some pretty good stuff. You could do some pretty good stuff. I think that uh, I think that the main problem is um, okay. Like, look, let's take this affiliate marketing cheat sheet. Okay, if I wanted to put together a good cheat sheet, wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better if instead of saying like top selling products on affiliate marketing, or instead of saying interesting information on affiliate marketing, wouldn't it be better if instead of going to search engines like this, it actually linked to some actual like articles or some actual videos or some actual podcasts? I think that would be better. I think that would just be better, and you don't get that with this. All right, that's me personally. You combine that with you know and and. Like I can't, I mean, I guess I can go in and edit the HTML file because what I get, because what I get is an HTML file. So, and I'd have to edit this HTML file if I want to, if I want to edit things, right? I'd have to edit it, you know, if I want to make it better. Like some of this stuff, there's no results. Like this UFC podcast, if I click on like eBay, there's not going to be a UFC podcast on eBay. So we could we could say, oh, well, you didn't enter a good keyword. That keyword's too specific. Yeah, you could say that. Um, but the fact is, if I wanted to do a cheat sheet on, like, UFC podcasts, some of these things would have to come off of here. Like this, like, you know, the AliExpress one needs to come off. This whole top selling products probably needs to come off. The whole section probably needs to go. Depending on my keyword, some of these things need to come off of here, and I probably need to add some things. So then it comes into me having to edit some HTML crap, um, and I'm, you know, I, I guess I could probably pull up an online WYSIWYG editor where I could do that, um, you know. But at that point, what's the point of the software? At that point, why not? Why wouldn't I just be doing it myself? You know, why not just do it myself at that point? It would be easier and faster for me just to do the cheat sheet by hand. Than to edit all this freaking software and find a WYSIWYG editor to edit this crap. So, so on this one, I'm gonna have to pass on this one. I can't promote this one. Um, it just doesn't do it for me. Maybe you're out there and you're watching this and you're thinking, you know what? I can find a use for that. I think that would work for me. And if so, more power to you. Me, I'm gonna pass on this one. Uh, sorry, Alessandro, you're a good dude, but this one's just not for me. I'll have to give this a thumbs down, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. See you.